If you need some tiny entryway inspiration, you're gonna love this video. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. In case you're new here, my husband Sean and I are renovating a tiny 467 square foot cabin by a lake for our family to enjoy and to turn into our second Airbnb. We recently gave the cabin a striking exterior makeover. We finished the little bedroom in the cabin, so make sure to watch those videos. I will link those down in the description box below after you've watched this one. This entryway was quite the challenge because it is so small. It's more narrow than the standard size entry, so I can't wait to show you how how we made it over. Let's get started. When we first bought this cabin, the front door opened right up into the living room. This was okay, but we wanted to completely change the floor plan because there was no bathroom in this cabin originally. So rather than having two bedrooms and an open living room kitchen, we are changing it so that we have the bedroom in the front. We're going to have a little entry hallway with a little bench, and then we're adding a bathroom and a mechanical room beside the bedroom. So the hallway is pretty small, but Sean did frame a niche in here so we could put a mirror inside and it actually was a few inches smaller than we planned. So we really had to be creative with this design. So after framing and drywalling, here's how the entry looks now. Sean did a great job of framing out a little niche area for a mirror and this hallway is only 33 inches wide. So it's really, really small. To begin, I'm using the same luxury vinyl plank as I used in the bedroom of this cabin and laying it down. It's so easy to install and it is extremely, extremely durable. Now I'm starting to install the shiplap ceiling in the cabin. I love shiplap for its look and its light bright color. Okay, so originally I thought I was going to do like a cute little hook rack and some shelves and a bench, but now in the space looking at it realistically, nobody is going to go sit on a bench behind this door. So I grabbed a nice small compact cupboard from Ikea, it's the wardrobe there. And I'm going to build that, insert it, and make it look like it's built in. I think that's going to be a lot more functional. It's actually going to have storage from the ceiling to the floor. And then perhaps I can put, you know, just a small compact bench right out here. Now I'm adding a little bit of trim underneath the shiplap because I'm going to create a nook over the Ikea cabinet that I found. I'm painting it in the same color as all of my trim, which is Ultra Pure White by Bear. This is the Brimney's cabinet from Ikea. It's a nice budget-friendly cabinet. It's only 31 and three quarters inches wide, so it's the perfect width for this entry. I'm gonna place it at the very end there to make really good use of the space. We're gonna store things for our guests and ourselves in here, and maybe even some cleaning supplies too. I'm securing it really well so that it's nice and safe to the wall. And then we strip down some of this MDF and I'm just using it to fill in the left and the right side of the cabinet. We wanna make this look like it's built in. After placing the MDF strips, I'm just using a finishing nailer and nailing those in place. Then to make this cabinet look nice and finished, I'm just using some latex caulking and I'm filling in any cracks and holes. Now I'm finishing the shiplap ceiling in the rest of the hallway. It's really easy to install and it's pre-painted. Now I wanna make the door a really fun color. So I'm starting by priming the door with a nice bonding primer to make sure that the paint sticks really well. And I'm going to use this beautiful mint green color because you might know that we're gonna be adding some mint green retro look appliances to this cabin. So I wanna echo this mint green on the front door. This one is called Copper Patina and it's also by Bear and I love how it adds this fresh pop of color. I'm also adding some new hardware on the door to give it a modern look. 
Just like the bedroom, I'm using this paintable beadboard look wallpaper to give the lower part of the wall some texture and give it that really nice vintage cottage vibe that I love. I installed it just like I installed the wallpaper in the bedroom. I don't like how this trim is looking white, so I'm gonna paint it mint. I think that's gonna look much better. <laughs> Now that I'm painting the grill part of this door, I'm really happy with how this looks in the end. Now I'm taking the bare ultra pure white paint and painting the beadboard wallpaper. Some of you asked in the previous video why I painted it. I just want it to match all of the trim and the ceiling in the home exactly. So I don't have a whole bunch of different shades of white in my trim. For the upper walls, I'm using a color called Blank Canvas. It's a subtle off-white, it's nice and warm. It's a little bit different than the Ultra Pure White so that there's a little bit of a contrast, but you know that I love using white colors in small spaces. So this is really gonna open up this hallway and make sure that this tiny space has lots of light bouncing around. Now Sean is finishing off the niche by just installing some MDF on this inner part. And he also installed a really sturdy MDF backing so we can hang up our mirror. I'm taking my finishing nailer and some MDF trim and trimming out the door. We're actually reusing the casing that was in the original cabin here. And we're reusing the crown molding from our first tiny lake house. We stored that and kept that. We're reusing that to save some money and just to reuse material. And we're reusing the baseboard from that first cabin as well. Now I'm taking some more MDF and trimming out that niche, taking some caulking, filling all the cracks to make everything look nice and finished, then repurposing some of the original casing from the original cabin and just using it as a divider between the beadboard wallpaper and the top of the wall. I'm also using this corner trim because I'm wrapping this wallpaper around to the other side and I like how the trim just makes it look nice and finished. Now I'm taking the doors of that Brimney's IKEA cabinet and installing them, placing them back on the cabinet. Rather than using the original hardware that the cabinet came with, I'm using these black pulls from Amazon. I will link them down in the description box below along with every single thing that I'm using in this makeover. I feel like this just gives this cabinet more of an updated look. This mirror I found at Home Depot Canada online and we are hanging it inside of this niche and I love how this looks. I found these historical photos on the Alberta Provincial Archives website and they're photos from the 1900s of Seba Beach where this cabin is. So I'm just placing them in some picture frames that I upcycled last year and putting them on this wall. Now I'm taking my drill and I'm drilling some pilot holes in this trim. I found these wooden pegs on Amazon. I will link them in the description box below and I'm just screwing them into the trim. They're going to be some pegs so people can hang their jackets, hats, bags, etc. So I feel like when you have a tiny little space, any sort of hanging and hooks is essential. I found these cotton rope baskets on Amazon and they were the perfect size and color to fit in the nook above this cabinet. That's gonna give us even more storage space. I'm using a ruggable rug just like in the bedroom, same pattern and everything. The space is so small, so I feel like repeating patterns is really important. Now in this cabinet, we can hang up clothing, we can hang up robes. There's also little nooks for shoes. We could even put some cleaning supplies in here. The options are endless, and I love how we were able to really capitalize on the floor to ceiling storage in this hallway. So as a reminder, here's how this tiny little entry hallway looked before. And here it is now. 
This space is so tiny, but I'm really happy that we were able to get everything we wanted to in this space. We have a mirror to reflect light. We have this pop of color with this fun front door. We also have this floor to ceiling cabinet with this Ikea hack. I love the heritage photos we have in here. I love the niche that gives people an opportunity to put their keys down, their phone down, and I love all this storage in this nook. I feel like this wardrobe is so much better than if I was to put a bench in here, which would hardly be used. We're gonna be able to put so many things in here, and the hooks also add extra storage. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this tiny entryway makeover down in those comments below. I am so thrilled with how this turned out. It's so cute, but it packs a punch with all of the extra storage. Make sure to watch the other videos in this series in our tiny lake house renovation series. I will link them down in the description box below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy watching next right up here.